Have you heard of anti-boycott laws? Once an obscure area of law that only some specialists focused on. Anti-boycott laws have now become one of the focus areas for U.S. government enforcement actions. These are laws designed to prevent U.S. persons from participating in foreign boycotts that are not sanctioned by the U.S. government. For example, the Arab League's boycott of Israel. Depending on the facts and circumstances, anti-boycott laws equally apply to foreign subsidiaries of U.S. persons. U.S. Department of Commerce, Bureau of Industry and Security, or BIS, is one of the agencies in charge of administering and enforcing U.S. anti-boycott laws. BIS announced changes to its anti-boycott laws enforcement policy in October 2022 and again in July 2023. The revised policy reflects BIS's intention to impose higher penalties for certain categories of violations, to require admission of misconduct in settlement agreements, and to impose penalties against not just the U.S. parent, but also its foreign subsidiaries. In 2023, there have been five BIS settlements for violations of anti-boycott laws, which reflect BIS's policy changes. Here's what we are seeing. First, all five anti-boycott enforcement actions involved companies that submitted voluntary self-disclosures, and BIS nonetheless decided to impose civil penalties. Interestingly, in two of those enforcement actions, even though these companies did not engage in boycotting activities or agree to engage in boycotting activities, simply by failing to report the request to BIS, they had to pay civil penalties. Second, in all five settlements, companies have specified and admitted to their misconduct, exposing the companies to potential future litigation. Third, one of the settlements was with a foreign subsidiary of a U.S. company. We expect to see more future enforcement actions against foreign subsidiaries of U.S. companies. The U.S. government will likely continue to be active in this space. The Israel-Hamas conflict could prompt more boycott requests in the region and increase U.S. government scrutiny on compliance with U.S. anti-boycott laws. For U.S. companies and their foreign subsidiaries, especially those conducting business in or involving the Middle East region, this would be the time to review anti-boycott compliance programs. For additional details, please be sure to read our advisory on this topic available on the compliance page of our website, autoporter.com. And stay tuned for more in our critical compliance series.